I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Quickly Play Card Quest. This game was given to me as a review copy. It's a roguelike RPG battle game with cards? I don't know how to explain this game. We're just going to jump right into City of the Undead. Okay, so we get to pick one character and one character only. We don't get parties, which is kind of unfortunate. We'll start with the rogue. So the way this works is that we have all these cards that will pop up throughout time. And uh, we can use those cards to uh, chain things together. That's kind of the name of the game, is chaining attacks, excuse me, and defenses uh, together in order to overcome each level. So here we go. It's kind of a puzzle game, too, in that, in that sense. So we'll start here and avoid that and just get right into the old town. Here are all possible things that we will meet. The Hulking Horror is the end boss. He's a bastard. Uh, we're just going to skip dialogue and jump right in. So, here we go. First encounter of, what was that, five, six? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, so we have a few different things. We've got attacking cards and we have uh, defending cards. And they have a certain amount of damage that they deal if they are attacks. And specials kind of help you... Uh, set up for chains and other attacks. So, for example, cheap trick here cost me one energy, of which I have 15 every turn. Well, 15 maximum. I gain five back every turn. Um, so this will actually deplete uh, if I'm not careful. And then I've got my health here. Uh, so it's going to cost me one, and what it will do is it'll stun a target and allow me to draw yet another card. You can only have five, so it's important to keep up with that, because some of them will allow you to draw three, and if you don't have space for three, then you lose out on all the extra cards. Um, you know what, we might just... Oh, yeah, I actually have to spend energy to cut, get a mulligan on that, that's too bad. I was going to say, we might want to do that, because I don't really have very good cards here. But anyway, uh, so what this will do is it'll set me up for the next attack, dealing an extra two damage. Uh, and the chain means that the next one, I believe, costs one less energy and allows me to draw a card after that. So I think if I use this, that sets this up to then cost only two, and instead of three, it'll do five. This one itself has a chain, uh, which allows the next one to cost one less and deal an extra two damage and draw a card. So we're basically going to use this to take on the big revenant. Cheap trick against... I guess this. Now we see here that uh, the enemies have their attacks, their health, and in these this case these guys are slow. Uh, we'll use it against the big revenant just because it's a heavy hitter. So it's stunned for one turn, and I've got the next attack to do an extra two damage. So but I could use the blunt strike, but that increases the cost of the next one. Yeah, so we see here that that has... Uh, that has reduced the cost, and if I use this, it'll reduce the cost for this one, so I can take out a few things here. Um, so this will end up doing 5 damage. 6 damage, 7 damage? 7 damage. I Was that a part of that? I guess I misunderstood how, uh, how that extra damage came out. Uh, and then I get yet another attack, because I'm within the chain. Um, it is very tempting to just knock that out, but it's already stunned, so I think I'll just go ahead and kill off a crawler. And uh, we're done with the turn. Now, this energy that comes through a turn, the full turn is both your attack and the enemy attack. So if I go through all of my attacks and use up all my stamina, then I can't use the stamina to use a defense card. Now, fortunately... Uh, they uh, decided not to attack, I guess. Well, this one was slow, so I think that meant that it had to wait a turn, and then this one was stunned, so it had no attacks. I have nothing that I can use right now. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and discard a card, and we'll go ahead and just draw one. Okay, there we go. Um, and then we'll just do... Yeah, may as well just kill it. Fine. And we'll call that an end. So, now I'm getting attacked, and now I get to... Well, let's use Counter Grab. This allows me to dodge the melee attack and stun the target. So I take no damage, and I guess this was immune to the stun? Okay. So this special only allows me to recover 
uh, some energy, but I get to draw three cards. Now you see it's a chain breaker. I believe that means that uh, it will prevent you from doing the chain attacking as soon as you use it. However, using it to begin with uh, doesn't uh, doesn't matter, of course. And it costs me nothing to use, so I may as well just recover some extra energy and get some new cards. And then we'll just go ahead and do a feint attack because we only need to do one more damage. And we're done. And moving on. Okay. Next round. So this money gets used for... Well, I haven't actually completed this this mission. I don't know if that goes into my bank. It allows me to use it outside on the next round. Anyway, let's continue on. Uh, everything's recharged for this round. We're close to gaining some experience. So, uh, it looks like we'll be doing a chain of dull slashes and then possibly recovering some concentration here. So, deals three damage. Unfortunately, these are all four damage. So we'll just take on a Revenant. Now, different... Uh, ooh, oh, plus the two, right, of course. Um, different classes have different, uh, different specials. So, like, the Wizard has abilities that uh, cast spells that deal multiple damage to multiple targets. So, like, I could deal damage to this guy and it would deal damage to the enemies on either side. So the strategies are different for every class. Uh, I mean, I guess I could finish one off. And this will save for my next attack, meaning that I can use this one and just wipe it out. Perfect. All right. Now we're at a ghoul. Ghouls have charge, which... Uh, I guess means that they get to go first. So, the thing about the rogue, and it's probably the best ability, is the trick dodge, which allows me to redirect that attack. And I believe I'll just go ahead and do that. Okay. So we'll go ahead and stun that one. And then... Now this is a chain breaker, so maybe I want to use this instead. I get extra two attack. We'll just do that, and we'll deal four damage. Now, kind of a waste because it was already stunned, but you know what? We're about to finish off here. And that's it. Level two. Max energy by one. All right, the undead butcher. Obviously, the, uh, the target here. Now, these guys are slowed. So what I can do here is I can hide right off the bat, and it'll make all enemies unaware for two turns, which means I prevent being attacked. Um, probably useful, especially when I've got all the energy here. Uh, chain Breaker, recover five and draw a card. May as well, cost me nothing, and I have no chain going. Okay, so, let's see how we can get this to work. Luckily, these have all got two health, so we can knock that out quite quickly. Deals two damage, stuns, next attack deals four damage, so I could possibly use that. Oh, right, because while I'm in the chain it deals extra two, so it's not like this where the next attack, it's that it deals extra two as long as we're in an attack. Okay, okay. So, um, this one would be fantastic then to finish off the Butcher, because I could use it uh, as long as we're in the chain, if I use it th at the end of the chain, it'll deal 8 damage. That's enough to knock him out. So, let's see how we can do this. Uh, we'll go ahead and just kill one of these. Okay, so the chain is started. We're going to deal excessive amounts of damage, but that's okay. And let's see. I need to make sure I'm saving myself a little bit of stamina, though. Did I just... I'm, I must have just used a, de a chain breaker, because I... No, I'm still within the chain. Okay, fine. Well, let's finish off... I mean, the thing is here... I'm only going to have enough for one... 
but these guys are slowed and they're confused, so I'm I'm giving myself some time here, uh, which is good. So, I mean, shit, we could keep going, but let's go ahead and finish this off. Okay. So, really, I mean, I could get one more attack in there, and I think I'd be fine. All right. Now we'll end the turn. Okay. Finish one off. I think we'll be fine for the next turn as well. Because it's unaware. Concentration may as well. For no real reason. Cheap trick. Uh, I mean, I guess I could just stun it. Draw a card. And again. Okay. Stun a target. You know what? Redirect. Let's get rid of that because we don't really, uh, we don't really have any use for that. And... I wonder if I can use this again. Let's try it. No, I can. Okay. Well, all defensive cards at the moment. Not so great. Now I actually do need it to come and uh, attack me. Oh, for f there. I don't know why I'm dragging it on there. It doesn't work like that. All right. Desperate Citizen. We now need to save the Desperate Citizen. That should be my first one. Um, but we have a big Revenant over here, and I'm not firm. Um, okay. So I don't think we're going to save him. If we save him, we get a bit of a boost of the gold. But I'm more concerned with making it work like this. And may as well. So, I could do a stun. It's a shame, we're kind of wasting that. Stun a target. Um, and then we just massively, massively waste the extra attack power. So, let's just go ahead and save this guy. Okay, gotta make sure I'm not gonna kill that one. And since it's only going to cost me one, let's go ahead and save myself here. Uh, let's do that as well. And let's kill off next attack. So I will, I will be able to kill off one. Let's do that. Because I've got things I need to dodge here. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of damage. I didn't really do that very well. Okay, we'll go ahead and redirect some of this damage. Um, I guess I could just block it. Stun a target. Stun a target. Let's do that. We'll stun that one. You contracted a disease. Um, bastard. Bandage. Great. Okay. You bastard. We'll just block that, and then someone else, I think... Nope. We managed to pass through that just fine. Well, in that case, we're going to have to... Stun one. Kill... Uh, that was a waste. I didn't... I wasn't paying attention to the health there. Yeah, I did that very poorly. So we'll send that against that one. Go ahead and block one. And okay. Not good. Uh, this is actually very bad. I'm going to have to just save that energy. What is this? Heal. Okay. Yeah. Bad. Very, very bad. Um, okay. I'm going to take some damage. All right. It's going to heal me by one. Since that does carry over, may as well use it now. Um, let's do... Boy, that is not helpful. But we can at least buy myself some time here. Gain back some more of that concentration. And uh, we'll just end the turn. 
that will help only a little bit okay stun that one uh, we'll use it to kill this one I really really did that poorly too um, because I could have could have killed those things without the stun but um, it's okay so I think I can do this just as is. And if, excuse me, if I really wanted to, that's okay though. Uh, we should be safe from this guy for another turn, so we'll go ahead and. I mean, I could just kill him right now. Eh. Super overkill, although we could stun. Instead, yeah, that way I'll save myself just a little bit here, although I could do this and finish that one off, or this and finish that one off. Let's do this one since it'll do the same thing effectively anyway, and it'll save me something just in case he breaks out of his stun. And there we go. Kind of sloppy. Kind of sloppy. We're not even at the end yet, so this is not not super ideal. We will um, do that to give myself a little bit of time. Bring some of it back. And now, what do I do? I could deal two damage to a crawler, get rid of one. Gives me plus four attack. These are not actually attacked but I feel like we should be using something. If I put myself in the chain, I would at least get another card out of this, so let's do that instead. Um, hmm. Well, okay. I should have probably used those, actually. They cost me nothing at that point. This will allow me to at least draw a card. Okay, this will do three damage, plus an extra bit of damage, plus an extra, extra bit of damage, so... Hmm. Sadly wasteful. This cost me nothing. And we'll get some more of that back, and then we'll go ahead and kill off... One of you. Okay, that's been a little bit better. And sadly, I've only got defensive cards now. So we'll go ahead and save that and hopefully turn some of them on each other. Go ahead and use that against you. And use this. Can I use it against him as well? No. Should have uh, Should have planned that out a little bit better. Okay, deal three damage, deal four damage. Well, it doesn't really matter if we deal the extra damage. So we'll just have this gain its... Does it gain a boost? I don't think it gains a boost. It does not. Okay. End that turn. Uh, stun a target. Okay. Well, that... Uh, <laughs> Just keep doing this until we get... There we go. Something. Uh, may as well kill this one. And now we've only got that guy to worry about. Okay. Nothing useful to me whatsoever. Let's draw another card and gain some of that back. And we can at least... Unfortunately, we're not in a chain. But we can at least do that. Just end the turn. Keep this going. Cannot... Oh, man. This is... <laughs> there. All right. Boss fight. Just in time. First card in every battle costs four less energy. I do not know how to deal with this guy. He is immune to stun. 
smashes the player every two turns and throws debris, enrages every three turns, permanently increasing his damage by one to a max of six. He's also got regeneration. I I am at a loss on how to do do to this guy. Uh, he's stun proof, so we can't do stun there. Deal two damage and stun. Next attack deals four damage. I wonder if those connect together. We'll find out in a minute here. We'll go ahead and stun this one. Ooh. But this is a chain breaker, so let's not do it. So this guy now... Yeah. Good. Okay, so that's how you do that. We'll keep the chain going, I guess, since it's costing me nothing to do so. This one's going to get an extra... extra bit here. Extra five. Okay, I'll do this, gain back some stuff. We're out of the chain, sadly, but we could really knock that down. Uh, on the other hand, we're going to need this. Okay, that's helpful. I'm going to have to end my turn, and I think the hulking horror will be able to, to get out of that, but that was good, that was good. It's a good round. Okay, regenerated just a little bit there. Uh, you know what, let's just go ahead and kill one of these off. And we're going to have to end the turn. Now I'm in a bit of trouble. Now I'm really in a bit of trouble here. I will hopefully be able to use him to redirect a few times. But, uh, this is... <laughs> um... I might just block this. Stun a target. I mean, they're already kind of... They're still unawares. We'll use that to kill you off. Good. Okay. He is getting that back, and I'm not a fan. Okay. I would really like to do this inside of a chain. He's getting a lot of that back, and I'm not happy about it. Okay. We need some frickin'... Oh, boy. So, his smash ability does what? Whatever it did, it gave him two attacks. So I can dodge it try. Okay. If we're in a chain, we deal extra damage with this, so that's what we'll be using. <sighs> that does not help, but we need to draw a card. Okay. We'll draw a card here. We're still in a chain, and this will do an extra two. Okay. This is... This is not going to work. Uh, okay. Dull stab. Now, here's where we're going to take some damage. I've only got this. So, smashed one of my cards and uh, hit me and we're dead. Just like that. Damn. Well, I was doing pretty well there, just not good enough. Okay, so anyway, uh, <laughs> that was Card Quest. Um, man, very difficult there at the very end. Uh, you have to be very good at chaining those things together, and uh, I guess I came up short. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Let's Play.